top of the world at the moment. Second in the World Championships a couple of years ago, but a fragile talent. But what talent? Elena Leonova for Russia. Tango. Triple flip and uh, triple toe. Really handy. The flip back. So had to take a turn before the triple toe. Now for the Lutz. Just a step out of that. Definitely a question mark on the rotation of the Lutz and the edge going in. Triple loop. a little iffy at the moment. Problems coming out of the double axle and that affected the Salco. Much better. She had to work hard with the left side. Just got away from us slightly. Even a simple jump like the triple salco is proving a little problematic here. Double axle, triple toe. Back double toe. Well, it is sometimes hit and miss, and, and it was throughout that program. She hit a few times, but missed too many. And you can see the hands to the head. These days, with these pretenders coming from all parts of the globe, mostly from her own country, it must be frustrating to be passed as she is by 15, 16-year-olds. But she's still skating really well, and she may well be a threat this year. I hope she is, because I love watching her skate, but...
don't think that's going to be good enough. You can see, technically, she's way below Miyahara, and she may struggle to get on the podium. Yeah, I think so. I had a, a short on a lot of the spins as well. She may well struggle. It's, uh, she was very, very quick. Movement from one position to the next. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure she's going to get all the levels she was hoping for. But uh, we'll have to wait and see. A little bit short on rotational, definitely on that triple salco at the end of that sequence with the double axle at the beginning. And uh, for me, that's not one of the best programs I've seen from her either. She's uh, got amazing character, really flamboyant character out there on the ice. And you, she sort of sucks you in, doesn't she? You can't help watching her. But I, I did get that sense, maybe because she was struggling with the technical side, I don't know, but not one of the best programs that I've seen from her. Yes, second in the world in Nice. That was a breathtaking performance. Yes, it wasn't a, a performance that allowed her to show her maturity. Whether that's just the performance on the day or the routine, maybe a bit of both. Yeah, I, th I think you're probably right. I, I don't. Th for me, it wasn't one of the best programs I've seen from her. And I tell you, she's got to work on the uh, the edge going on the on the looks as well. You see here, she goes outside inside back on the inside edge now at the moment you can get away with that but uh, two years prior to the olympics that there will be a change that comes in so if you change edge on your lutzes they you won't get an edge deduction anymore they will call it the flip so that means you've done two flips yes. so when you do your next two flips they're invalid jumps well 70 percent isn't it if you do a, a second flip in two years time nothing that, it'll be nothing yep will be done so uh, all the skaters that have got edge problems on their jumps you're warned you've got to get it sorted remember Ashley Wagner and Pogger Elias still to come Miyahara has set the cat amongst the pigeons and uh, it's gonna be a struggle I think for Leonova I don't think she's gonna make the podium unless there are mistakes from the American or the Russian to follow it's turned into... Wow. She's been as high as 124. That's good enough. Oh.